Uh, hello, citizens of Prime Mighty Nation of Japan, and welcome to the Frontiers. We're playing European Cellus 4, and it is Art of War. It is upon us. We are finally here with the, all the DLCs and all the fun stuffs. And on the straw poll, Japanese genocide won the majority of the votes, so we're going to be doing the Japanese genocide in this. We are actually going to be taking a look at this mission as well. This is a new one. I've seen it. Recover our cultural heritage. So, yeah. We'll be taking a look at that mission too. So, the whole point of this... The whole point of this campaign here... Is... Uh, as soon as we're done with consolidating our realm... Which is uniting our Japan, you know. What is this? Enforce our heritage. Ah... Well, in any case, as soon as Japan is done united, and, uh, ooh, you, are not, you now exist, so you're kind of like a, a target for us now, something for us to do, and Sinjori has been conscripted. <laughs> this actually avoids the stuff, no! But in any case... <laughs> So we're genocidal. Any wars that we're going to be fighting, we're going to make sure that all the land we take will become Japanese Shinto. And uh, yeah, that's how we're going to do. That's how we're going to roll. Anyway, so let's take a look at our missions. This one is new. This has been added in the latest patch. Legends speak of a Japanese artist who fled to a distant land after incurring the wrath of the emperor. He brought with him his most prized possessions, picture books chronicling the history of a higher school where the most legendary samurai of his age were educated. We believe that this lost cultural treasure lies hidden somewhere in the jungles of Africa. It is our duty to recover it. So this requires us to own manga. Really? Really? Manga? <laughs> <laughs> in the jungles of Africa can I even see manga no okay so this is gonna be a we're not gonna take this mission right now but uh, <laughs> I like it <laughs> corporate Takeda Takeda oh yeah Takeda create a proper fleet let's try take this one oh we can, yeah so we can now create army templates this is one of the new cool features and um, what it does is it allows us to create templates for our armies. And once we're going to be done with that, we can just create armies in one click. There's also build all mercenaries button, which is kind of cool. Uh, same with the navy templates. I don't know though. We'll just go. What is this? Yeah. Dear conscripted guys, please have mercy. <coughs> Anything else here? No, doesn't seem to be. Make core? No. Local autonomy. So we have some autonomy here. Musashi. Autonomy is the new kind of thing. It's, uh, well, described, defines the level of autonomy in the province. What is this? Province war score cost. When actually negotiating, negotiating for the province and award the cost can, cost can change depending on the war goal. <laughs> Increase autonomy by and this will allow us to decrease unrest. And the faction here is Japanese peasants. Okay. No longer possible to decrease it manually if it's below ten percent. Okay. <laughs> Your name didn't pop up. Okay. What else is new here? Government. Anything new here? Well, there's still a shogunate, so... Diplomatic relations plus four. This allows us to actually keep all of our... Or most of our daimyos in check. This makes us suffer a little bit in terms of diplomatic power gain, but that's alright. Any new diplomatic things? We need to select our rivals. Let's select Ainu and Korea. Because these are our enemies, these are our only available rivals. There is also now there is also a humiliate option, 
It actually displays your current mission now here as well. Does it display their mission? I don't know. Can't declare war on them. Oh god, this is so new. So new. So much new stuffs. Okay. What are our merchants doing? Our merchants are doing absolutely nothing. Well, we can only send them to two nodes, so... Might as well. So we're currently... Our capital is located in Nippon Trade Node. So we can only send them to collect. And Hangzhou. Where is Hangzhou? Hangzhou is down here. We're only... Can only collect it down there too. Do we, do we even have any power in Hangzhou node? No. Well, there's no point sending a merchant there too. Why can't we not trade it with this? Ugh. It's so disturbing. Anyway, technology. We're Chinese. This means that we get all of our technologies 60% extra monarch points. Okay. Uh, ideas. Japanese ideas gives us 10% discipline right off the bat, 10% stability cost modifier right off the bat, and our ambitions are 15% infantry combat ability. So we also have domestic trade power, nation national manpower modifier, um, prestige, national unrest goes down for defense. Tax, legitimacy, and increased chance of new air. All right. So let's take a look at new. Oh, we can't even see our rebels yet because we don't have any factions. We are Shinto, which gives us 10% morale of armies, but lets us local mission is strength minus two. So it's hard there, right? Tolerance of heathens goes down. It's harder to convert Shinto. If I'm, if I'm not mistaken, it's harder to convert Shinto. Or easier. No, it's harder to convert Shinto because minus 2%. For example, we could take a look at some of these um, Sunni nations. Where are they? There they are. Yeah, local mission is strength minus 2. So this is basically like Sunni. It's very hard to convert us. Watch out for archers. China has excellent archer line. Ah, damn, you're right. I'll need to build some mangonels. Um, military. By the way, we also have a pretty good longbowmen. Could also go with long spear and East Asian spearmen. Asian longbow. Yeah, I think we'll go with the uh, Asian longbow. Has some defensive and offensive modifiers. So that's cool. We have lots of subjects. Military focus for subjects. Set focus for all subjects. Aggressive, no focus, supportive. So no focus so far. But this allows us to <clears throat> kind of switch to fo their fo foci. Send all merchants to Antarctica. Hi there, Phoenix Gone. <clears throat> this was already kind of a thing. <clears throat> um, I can switch between two strategies. They can be aggressive and siege as much as possible and not attach to armies, attack their, on their own and stuff. Or they can be supportive, stick close to you, try to support you in battles, avoid sieging stuff on their own. They will just sit in the province near you and kind of wait for stuff to happen. So now that's, um, you know, we can change that if we wanted to. Alright, let's wait and see what happens, shall we? Can't go to war with anybody immediately. We took a mission for a fleet, so it's going to be done in just a second. Can we, when can we start converting stuff? Ah, oh, damn it. Without the bigger diplomacy view mod, it's so hard. Okay, so let's... Uh, Shogunates cannot create marches. Okay. So we can already start the process of annexing people. That's good. Still ships. Hmm. Interesting. Siege all the lands. Patience, people. Patience. Allow armies of allies to load on this fleet so our fleet can transport it. That's really good! Mothball. Mothballing can only be used in ships that are currently in port. It will take the fleet useless. Make the fleet useless as long as mothballing is enabled. 
While the polling fleet will act if, if the maintenance slider is at zero, it will have no strength, it will not repair or move and will cost less each month. That's good. Attack Russia. Uh, <clears throat> we just started, guys. It's, it's gonna, you're just gonna wind up. It's E4, you can't just go attack anybody. I'm just gonna wind up. I'm gonna wind everything up. So let's see. Shiba, why are you all hostile to me, guys? Is there any daimyo that's not hostile towards me? There are some daimyos that do not know of Japan. <laughs> what? They know not about this land. Well, let's send a diplomat to them. Maybe they'll then they'll find out. Okay, let's start working on these guys. That's kind of odd. <laughs> To say the least. He's a vassal of Japan but has no knowledge of Japan. Okay. Alright, so the pricing po pricing mechanics have changed. Now we don't have prices and demands. We do instead have a set base prices that can change. Yeah. Depending on stuff and events. Events like a lot of other stuff. Next them all. Declare war on every nation you see, even your vassals. They're all Japanese, though. Japanese Shinto, so. We're kind of tolerating the Japanese Shinto. We're highly nationalistic, but we still tolerate their presence. Even Ryukyu, when we'll attack them, we'll just, you know, take them under our protection so they don't get annexed by anyone else. Oh! Taiwan is now broken into three provinces. That's really cool. We'd all look better under your banner. Yes. So let's take, actually, actually take a look at these decisions because I never, never ever done that. I haven't really played as Japan. Japan is united. Unite Japan. The time has come to Japan, unite Japan by force. Time for diplomacy is over, and all these warring daimyo lords must be conquered. Change the feudal monarchy. Release our vassals. Right. Yeah, so that's not really a good one. I don't think... I don't think so. No, we'll keep everyone. We'll try to integrate everyone. Shh. Guys, shh. Keep patience. You have to... You have to master the art of genocide. The art of war, one might say. <laughs> Playing Wonder Race. <laughs> Alright, let's get some of this stuff done. We need to fill in our force limits. They're all fighting each other. Well, obviously. They're freaking daimyos. It's, it's expected of them. They want to grow strong enough to contest me. Uh, art of genocide is different, Adolf. <laughs> Can't tell me what to do. I am your emperor. Your skills are inferior. Oh, that, it look. It actually says how much does it does he collect? Collects point forty one. Nice. Da, 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 da. Sengoku. Sengoku. Stop fighting each other, fools. Conquest off. Conquest off. Emperor. We got a three three four, that's a decent air. It's pretty decent. It's pretty mediocre. It could be worse though. Alright, what technology should we focus on first? Allow client states in advanced Casus Belly. I researched at level twenty two. So this allows us to get Imperialism C B and Nationalism C B. It's pretty good, I say. 
medieval administration. I think we need to focus on our military. So let's try doing that. Our air is going to be focused on military as well. Hmm, perhaps then we should go for administrative focus. Let's go for administrative focus because our air is not that good with admin. That of course means that we get even less diplomatic power. I should have maybe focused on diplomatic. Alas. Ah, oh, no, they are the GG no side. <laughs> Make client state Korea. First I'll have to conquer them. And research level 22, Diplotech. Created a proper fleet, finally. Alright. Ship will automatically use this transportation if any of your armies need to travel overseas. That's pretty cool. Let's protect Nippon. Nippon! We <laughs> cover our cultural her heritage. Corporate Takeda. Where's Takeda? Which one of you is Takeda? Ah, there's Takeda. I'm working on you, right? Yeah, I'm working on you, so... It only makes sense to pick that one. So I suppose depending on how well your diplomatic integration goes, you either click this button or you either click this button. So I, I figured this one is much better because it gives you all the power and legitimacy in the world. This one is kind of worse because I lose cores and um, vassals. Yeah. It's kind of funny to see all these vassals fighting each other. Takeda. You're under attack from Imagawa. Stop being under attack from Imagawa. Dun, dun, dun. Sortie. You cannot sortie in provinces you do not own. Okay, so this allows to fight like really small stacks. This actually prevents from... Um, Carpet sieging with really, really, really small stacks to prevent production in the province. Because that used to be a strategy or a tactic I liked to employ, which is you go and uh, prevent... For example, if, you, if you're if fighting a big, big foe, foe, and you don't have really the army to carpet siege him, but you have enough units to siege one province and to cover everything else with your with one regiment. At least one regiment. So... If you beat his army to little bits, it it is no more. It's destroyed. Then it can and it could block off <coughs> his production by placing a single regiment in a province. So I suppose that is nerfed now, since you can sortie from sieges, obviously. Sortie. 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 Our capital province is not bad. It actually has a temple. Pretty cool. Pretty darn cool. Alright, but I don't need to pay our army, right? You greedy, greedy bastards. Greedy bastards you are. Why do these look like galleys? What? Did I build galleys by accident? Ah, crap. Well, whatever. We use galleys. Eh. Damn, I got blinded by the excitement. <laughs> Blindness is no impairment for this merry enemy. Thirteen men for a three PM? Yes, of course, I'm Japan. Look. All my army force limit mostly comes from um can actually can actually show you there wait from provinces plus 10.5 this is actually a lie because I can't have 13 from provinces but where they actually get these pro these men from is uh, from vassals all the vassals give you like 50% of their force limit or something well they give they allow you to have percentage of their force limit oh it has been a long time since we last visited our, the principal shrines of one of our provinces. The shrine is located off the beaten track, on top of a mountain said to be the, the abode of a very powerful kami. 
Normally we've gone there at least once every year, but it has been a while now. Kami is like a uh, de demigod spirit. The attendants are expecting us. Should we go visit their shrine? Hmm. We must work in our Han. I can't afford to lose 10 legitimacy right now. It's almost 100. And our heir it has a strong claim. So, yeah. Pretty decent. So we're probably going to spend a lot of points integrating all these little vassals. But it's alright. We can go actually speed 5, I think. And by that's alright. Is this a separate province? This is a separate province. Awesome! I love the details. So how are the new... Alright, so instead of Macau being... Instead of Macau being a tr an estuary, now Canton is both a trade center and a pearl estuary. So Macau is actually kind of useless right now. Shame. But Canton is awesome for trade. Alright. So let's unmothball our army, so to speak, and give them an actual leader. I shall lead the army myself! No. Oh. Hmm. Actually, shows him like he in green for some reason. So, oh look, this is the the mountain, the Mount Fuji. Pretty cool. Oh, um, I didn't really want to fight these peasants. That's unfortunate. <coughs> oh whoa. That's pretty cool. So now we can so now we get the 3 D models with flags and shit? Wow. Sweet. We'll wait until our morale restores to a decent level. Sweet shit, bruh. But in any case, it's time to put a cut in between YouTube episodes here, so if you're on YouTube, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and possibly subscribe to my channel for like this. See you again next time, as always. Have a good day.